Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's continue then, shall we? Our next goal is to capture this settler, which should be pretty easy. And then attack Poland. We should be able to take a city or two from Poland without too many problems. And we found another AI. Okay then, that's Spain. Uh, let's try to stay friendly with Spain. We'll send a delegation. Can we get open borders? They are very far away from us, so we might as well get open borders. Alright, looks good. Still at minus 5 total. Oh well, whatever. So, Poland. We should be able to grab the settler on the next turn. Norway wants to pay us for open borders. But he's not paying a whole lot. For gold? That was literally for gold. Like, not for gold per turn. For gold. <laughs> I mean, sure, I'll accept, it's fine. I won't even take the gold, I'm that generous. Congo has progressed to medieval era. Sorry Congo, a little bit too late. So, kill the warrior. Unfortunately, I do not currently have the time to deal with these barbarians. One archer will have to be enough. So, Poland. We can use city bombardment now, so let's maybe do that. I still want the settler, but that horseman is the biggest threat right now. Also, we should probably just improve the horses, but that will have to wait. I need to move away with the builder. Can we kill any of these units right now? I don't think we can, actually. We can do some damage, but I don't think we can kill them. Let's do some damage to that warrior. Can we capture the settler? No. At least not yet. Alright. I think it's best if we fortify. Sounds good. There's no way he can actually take the city when we got city walls, or she, I mean. She can try. Alright, so what about the Builder? We still need the Iron, that was basically the plan. So let's do that. As for the Archer... How about we help Laventa with the Barbarians? That Archer was wounded anyway. As for our other army... I think it's best if we start moving towards Geneva, which was already captured by Poland. We can probably retake it. And if not, we'll kill a few units. That will make Poland more likely to give us gold, and maybe even a city. If she gives us a city as part of the deal, I will accept. But I don't think it's going to happen just yet. We'll have to kill a lot of units, and probably take a city, before she'll be willing to give us a city as part of the deal. Anyway, let's kill that horseman, or at least start doing some damage. We do have promotions that we can pick up, but that will have to wait. Well, we can't kill him, but we can move to the front with the war card. Right, back to Uruk. Can we capture that settler already? I think so? Yes, no. Oh, damn it. That was almost enough, but not quite. Alright, it will have to do, I suppose. What now? I think we need to move into Uruk. Otherwise, this will end poorly. And attack the Chariot Archer. Alright. Looks good, for now. And deal with these Barbarians. Before they start doing actual damage. Right now they aren't, but yeah. If I leave them alone, this will get nasty. Also, we should switch from construction to something else. Let's do that. I suppose we should research sailing. I don't think we'll be starting a city on the coast. No, probably not. We'll just research sailing then. And keep exploring. We can still find more city-states. And it's time to improve the iron. Let's do exactly that. So that gives us iron working, because it was already halfway done. And we can work the tile. 
Let's work it with our other city, not with our capital. It is in range of our capital. But the other city could use some extra production. Alright, looks good. We'll finish the monument a little bit faster. So, Poland, give me that settler already. And let's pick up the promotions, shall we? Yep. We can use the other archer to kill the warrior. Looks good. And yeah, the horsemen run away. That was to be expected. Now we can pick up the promotions. Let's do exactly that. Arrow storm. And yep, volley. Alright, and we'll attack Geneva. It does have city walls. Which might make this slightly annoying. This is probably the time to get a battering ram. I would have to buy one. Or wait entirely too long. Right, that stupid settler. I still need him. Can we peace out right now, perhaps? No, not yet. Because if we could, I could just kill the warrior and capture the settler with our very damaged war card. But that would be a rather poor idea right now. Let's not do that. I can still kill the warrior, but that seems like a waste of city bombardment. Poland has quite a lot of units around here. Okay. So what do we do? Let's try to focus fire. I don't want to attack the horsemen too much, because then it will just pick up a promotion, heal back to full. Maybe we should kill the warrior. Let's actually just kill the warrior, it's fine. And move a little bit closer. Yeah, and that's fine. Unfortunately, I can't capture the settler. Fortify until healed. And we'll improve some of these tiles. That's the last use. Let's just use it right away. Oh yeah, and there's still a horseman down here. And a general. Okay. Well, not much I can do about that. I can upgrade to a swordsman. I suppose that's what we'll do. Germany denounced us. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. But oh well. It's pretty pointless to even try staying friendly with anyone right now. So I don't think I'm even going to bother. Probably not, no. Hatosa. Does that make us a suzerain? Yes, it does. Nice. So, back to Poland. We could make peace. I don't think they would actually give us anything. Wait, they would give us something. Some gold? How much gold would they give us? Quite a lot, actually. Alright, I might accept that. Can we capture the settler? I don't think so. No, we cannot capture the settler. That's really disappointing. Because I still want that settler. I don't think we can capture it. Let's just go for Geneva then. Problem is, we will likely need a battering ram. And that will take too long. Yeah, I think we'll need a battering ram, otherwise this will take forever. And we'll take a lot of damage. That would cost us 260. Yeah, 260. And it would have to actually get there. Probably not worth it right now. Let's see how much damage we'll take. As for the builder... Yeah, we can grab a farm. Why not? And maybe kill a horseman. I don't think that's going to be enough. No, it's not going to be enough. It was enough for a promotion. So at least there's that. Alright. So, peace out or do at least one more turn? Let's do at least one more turn. I don't think they can kill anything. No, they cannot. She will not give us a city. Not that I really expected her to. We didn't do nearly enough damage. 
It yeah, we won't take Geneva sure without a battery gram, or at least it will take forever to do so. Is better. So I don't think it's a very good idea attacking it. We can attack it for experience. That's always useful. It's probably worth attacking it for experience. Yeah, now the settler doesn't have protection, but I don't have a unit that could capture it, unfortunately. That does suck a little bit. But nothing I can do about that. Yeah, we can't capture it on this turn. Probably not on the next one either. Alright, yeah, barbarians. Slightly annoying. But we'll deal with it. What about the horsemen? I think we can kill the horsemen. Yes, we can. Nice. And the scout, preferably. Fortify. I still want to try capturing the settler. We could send these units. Instead of attacking Geneva. We can always take Geneva later. So, apprenticeship next, since we have the boost for it. Anything else? Yep, keep exploring. We still got quite a few city-states to find. The poets have been mysterious and we got a promotion. Silent. Let's pick it up. That's going to be what? Plus 7 combat strength versus anti-cover units? Or plus 10 combat strength when fighting in a district? Yeah, it's 500 is way more useful than that. Oh, now he's sending heavy chariots, or she. Alright then. I'm still thinking of Casimir when I'm thinking on Pollard. Because, you know, years of playing Civ 5. I think we can grab the settler. No, we are too far away. Yeah, we are close enough. Nice. Okay, we got it. And we finished recruiting the other settler. Perfect. So now we could just peace out and attack again once we get a battery gram or two. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. Shame we can't finish off that heavy chariot. Oh well. Pick up the promotion. And... Kill one more heavy chariot? No, we can't do that. Games and recreation. Wait. Can we finish construction? We need a water mill for that. Yeah, that will take a little bit of time. But let's get 50% done. I suppose we'll build a water mill next in our capital. As for the settlers, we can use one settler to get a city in this general area. You know, to kind of connect to the city we captured from Congo. And the other settler will settle the wonder. I'm not quite sure which tile we're going to use. But I guess we'll see. It's going to be a reasonably decent city. If we settle right here, we could actually get one, a coastal city. Which won't be super useful, but whatever. We'll get the fish. We'll get two tiles with copper. We'll get the silk. We'll get three tiles with copper. Wait, no, two tiles with copper. It will have to be this one. And we'll get how many tiles? With benefit of the wonder? One, two, three, four, five. We'll miss out on three of them. We could also settle right here. I think that would be worse. And we could settle right on top of the copper. I think that might be the best choice. Settle right on top of the copper that's not next to the wonder. We'll get the silk, we'll get the other copper, we'll get two tiles with fish, and we'll get most of the tiles with the benefit of the wonder. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, sounds good. Anyway, production. Let's have a look. Water meal, granary. Yeah, granary would be nice. For plus two housing, if nothing else. Alright, sounds good. And granary again. Probably. Yeah, four out of five housing. We definitely need a granary right there. 
And that's a fresh builder. So let's have a look. Which tiles are we actually working? This should be a farm then. Or a ziggurat. Yeah, we should actually build a few ziggurats. We are a little bit behind on science, so we'll build ziggurats. But we should build them next to rivers. Because then they also get plus one culture. So that's what we'll do. Alright, and we got a promotion. Let's see. Yeah, this one. Alright, which exact tile do we want to settle here? I kind of want all these horses. Then we could sell one. The wheat is in range of the city, this horse is also in range of the city. The game is suggesting right here, but... I don't think I agree. Technically, we could actually settle right here and have fresh water. But we'll miss out on some decent tiles. I'm a bit torn about this. I don't like settling cities without any kind of water access, but... This might be the best choice right here. Because otherwise, it's very likely the AI will settle this location. I'd rather grab these horses myself. So, this tile. Do we have incense? Somewhere else? I think we do, or do we? No, we don't have incense, actually. Well, I suppose we should settle in range of the incense, then. So, this tile? But then I'll miss out on the stone. Yeah, we cannot get both incense and the stone. It would have to be two cities. We don't have incense elsewhere, do we? No, we don't. There's also a decent location right here. We should definitely settle that. I don't know, I'll have to think about this. What do you want? Oh, productivity. Yeah, whatever. So, promotions. Let's maybe kill the scout. Alright, do we peace out with Poland? Or stay at war? I think we should stay at war for another turn or two. But I shouldn't be sending that settler without an escort. That's a little bit silly. Let's maybe not do that. Unless I decide to peace out right now. Now, let's stay at war for another turn or two. Maybe we can kill more units. We can kill more units. Alright, we'll do that, but let's move out of range of Geneva. Because I don't really want to stay in range, to be honest. We'll kill that dude. Alright, and fortify. So, production in Kabul. Monument, because we need culture and we need it badly. Fortify until healed. And the settler will have to wait for his move. We got one more use. I would like to improve the horses. It's about time to do that. It definitely is. And there's still a barbarian camp somewhere to the southwest that I would like to take care of, especially since we're Sumeria and we will get a goodie hut reward. But that's currently the lowest possible priority. <laughs> Poland is the number one priority. Once we're done with Poland, then we'll consider going for that barbarian camp. It's not like one of the AIs will destroy it. There are no AIs in the area. She's willing to give us more. If she gives us a city, I will accept. But I don't think she will. Yeah, that seems incredibly unlikely. No, she will not give us a city. Okay, whatever, we can stay at war a little bit longer. But I will accept the gold eventually. Especially since we can always use the gold. Right now I'm saving for archer upgrades because these are really expensive. 200 gold per unit. So in case you're wondering why I'm not using my gold, that's why I'm not using it. I'm saving for Archer upgrades. Anyway, let's kill that horseman, shall we? 
I think this is enough. No, apparently it's not. What about with a flanking bonus? That's still not enough to kill it, really. Alright. Well, fine. We'll just wait one turn. He will probably run away. That's what's going to happen. Actually, yeah, we can prevent him from running away. And we'll kill him on the next turn. Sounds good. Let's see if we can do some more damage. And get more experience. I'm not going to bother attacking Geneva right now. That's a waste of time and resources in our current situation. Fortify. Alright, looking good. And that's that. Oh yeah, we still got the swordsman. I suppose we have to kill some of these barbarians. The swordsman should be fine, I think. I'm pretty sure he will be fine. So, Poland. How many more units can you throw at us? Yeah, now Congo wants to be friendly. Should have thought about that before you declared war. Now we got two horsemen. Well, let's just move into the city. If she pillages the farm, that's fine. We got a builder on standby that can repair it right away. Water meal. Alright. We got some amenity problems. Minus two from war wariness. Yeah, we have to end it sometime soon. Oh, the horseman picked up a promotion. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier in one of the previous episodes. AI gets a massive bonus to unit experience on this difficulty. So what often happens is that if you don't finish off a unit, it will get a promotion and heal itself, but now it's dead. Alright, so let's go and settle that city, shall we? Man, these guys... This might be a good moment to peace out. Can we peace out with Rome? Will he give us some gold? No, probably not. But hey, we can always ask. No, he will not give us anything. That's fine. Peace out. And Poland? How much gold will Poland give us? They will definitely not give us a city. She doesn't really have a lot of gold. So, I don't know. We could take some luxuries. She might get more desperate soon. It's unlikely she will give us a city when we didn't capture one, but it's not impossible. It might happen. Anyway, Builder, we got two more uses. Let's see, I guess we should improve the sheep, but let's maybe give it an escort and kill that silly scout. Sounds good. So you there, improve the horse. It's about time to do that. Next. She's still throwing more units at us. Rome will actually pay us for open borders. Fine by me. Apprenticeship will be done soon. Okay then. And once we finish games and recreation, we'll have to get at least one entertainment complex somewhere in this area. Because amenities will be a bit of a problem otherwise. Now, it's time to decide where exactly we're going to settle a city. First, let's do some damage here. We can kill at least one unit. I don't think we can kill the horseman, no. We cannot kill the horseman. Alright. That's fine. Fortify until healed. And go kill these barbarians. So now, where do we want that city then? I kind of want the incense. Considering we don't have incense anywhere. So I suppose we'll give up the stone. I'm almost tempted to just settle right here. We would get fresh water. And we would get spices, which is a really nice style to work. And our borders will be connected. 
Yeah, I think this is the best location. I mean, we can always settle one more city right here. There's nothing preventing us from doing that. And I might just do exactly that. If only because Conga will settle that if I don't. Alright, it's decided then. We'll settle the freshwater tile. Grab the ship. And I think that's that. We still got that builder, but I can't really move out of the city right now. It's not safe to do so. Alright, next. And the other settler will go southeast. You know, to settle the natural wonder. You will not give me a city. Wait, she would give us a city if we gave her gold? I think that was a little bit too much gold. Yeah, a little bit too much, I would say. I'm not interested. We would have to take a city from her in order for her to accept that kind of deal. Yeah, Congo denounced us. Ask me if I care. No, I don't. Sorry, Congo. Oh, Rome is coming. Is Rome going to declare war? It's possible. Don't we still have a peace treaty? Yeah, we do. So he cannot declare war just yet. Maybe he wants to attack a city-state? Is he at war with someone else? He's at war with Congo. He probably wants to attack Congo then. But I'll keep a few units close to the city in case Rome actually declares on us. Let's just send one war card there. Anyway, one guy will go southeast and this guy will settle right here on this exact tile. And let's harass Poland a little bit more. I could just buy a battering ram. How far away from machinery are we? Not too far away. But not that close either. 13 turns. Civics. Defensive tactics, because that leads to some other civics. And we got the boss. And our capital. Well, it's time to get some districts. Let's maybe start from a campus right here. That's the perfect location for it. So that's what we'll do. We do need more science. We are a little bit behind in science, actually. Let's see how bad it is. Yeah, it's not amazing. We are second last right now. Germany is first. But it's okay, we got a lot of cities, so we'll get ahead once we start seriously working on it. And we will start seriously working on it soon. So, let's maybe go and find the barbarian camp. We might get a nice boost out of it. And you? We can grab a mine. Is this tile pillaged? Oh yeah, it's actually pillaged. Alright then, we'll give the worker an escort for now, just in case. So, Poland. Yeah, she will not accept that at all. I wish she had more gold. How's war warriors now? Oh, it's not there anymore, because we are not at war with Rome anymore. Okay. Let's stay at war a little bit longer then. I mean, we can get more experience for our units, so that's one benefit. What the heck is Rome doing? Yeah, I think Rome wants to attack Congo right here. It seems that's what's happening. But we should get city walls in Kinshasa, you know, just in case. And settle the city. Not the most amazing location ever, but it's fine. Alright, looks good, and we'll get a nice tile to work right away. And a builder, probably. And we also need some traders. I might just buy a trader or two. Do we have some safe trade routes? Kind of, with Vilnius? That looks safe. Okay, let's grab one trader. And we'll probably recruit the second one. So, repair, obviously. 
and pick up the promotion. Elite Guard, nice. That's our first level 4 unit. One more build. Let's maybe use that for a ziggurat. Yeah, because that will give us more science, and we need more science right now. We really do. And we can kill at least a few more units. Okay. That's pretty nice defense. I would accept that deal if she had more gold. She only has 100 right now. And no gold per turn. It's a little bit annoying. What do you want? We settle to close, apparently. I don't care. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.